Welcome to the University of Texas at Tyler. Wait, no, not that university. That University of Texas. A sister school of the Big 12 powerhouse, the University of Texas at Tyler sits in a corner of the Lone Star State with a history of success in sports and barbecue competitions. This school isn't very large and, to be honest, doesn't even have a football team until now. The East Texas region is known for a few things regarding football, however, as it is home to White House native Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City Chiefs superstar and former NFL MVP, and a few other stars like Trent Williams and also the Adrian Peterson from the Oklahoma Sooners and the Minnesota Vikings. But one star deep from the NFL's past has come back to lead the UT Tyler Patriots to a potential winning dynasty, and with his deep roots in East Texas, he has been able to scavenge together some talent to get this team rocking. I'm talking about Earl Campbell. You may recognize him as the man who played alongside of greats like Walter Payton, or the man who anchored the Houston Oilers for many years, or even the man who led the Texas Longhorns in his college days, winning the Heisman Trophy along the way. This man has the power to bring a Texas team into the spotlight over time, and with his connections, hopefully steal some big recruits away from schools like Baylor, SFA, and even TCU. Earl Campbell built a legacy in East Texas, and with his connections, I'm excited to see how he builds this program into a potential dynasty over time, gathering local talent and turning them into successful players like he once was. While piecing together the roster, Earl Campbell was able to bring in a few solid players to start the history of UT Tyler football off right. Here are a few faces that you may want to get familiar with. We're going to start out with Jeremy Cohen, senior quarterback, coming into UT Tyler as a freshman, but not getting his opportunity to play until senior year when the school finally has a football team. The man wasn't even thinking about football going through his college career, but now he gets the opportunity to take the realm as a walk-on. Played quarterback at Hillsboro, Texas. Not the best uh, throwing power, not the best throwing accuracy, but he does have a little bit of speed. He gives a little bit of flair. He can get out of the pocket. He can make some runs. We're excited to see how he goes and how he progresses going into his last and only year as a quarterback in the NCAA Football League. Up next, we have probably the anchor of our offense. That's going to be Tedrick Shepard, halfback, who's got two years left at university. Another person that walked on to the school was able to sign after already attending the University of Texas. And the 91 speed is what we're going to utilize the most for him. He's not going to be super flashy in any specific area. But the 91 speed, 91 uh, acceleration is going to pair very nicely together. He's not super flashy at breaking tackles. He doesn't have a lot of crazy moves. Uh, besides his juke but other than that we're just going to look for him to get to the outside grab some extra yards for us and really try to get us a couple of game changing plays in some of these close games to help get us a win at the wide receiver position chad wallace is going to be one of those game changing players late in the game like especially against smaller schools because he's going to be able to blow by cornerbacks with his 89 speed but 94 acceleration off the line if he can get just a little bit of separation in that short amount of time we'll be able to utilize him on slants and some other routes uh, but other than that he's kind of your standard wide receiver kind of a danny amendola type player where you're going to do a lot of shorter routes with him and maybe go a little deeper with some of our other players uh, like Winston or Fernando but other than that cannot complain about him he, we have him for one year and I'm excited to use him at tight end we have quite possibly our number one receiving target on the year Vince Tobin we're gonna have him for two years he hasn't been redshirted but I think I'm just gonna rock with him for two years considering we have not a lot of depth at tight end got pretty decent speed and he's got a lot of acceleration at the tight end position but he's also a solid blocking back i think we're going to use him on the right side a lot and we're going to try to let him truck for tedrick shepherd and really excited to see the potential that this kid has especially going 
uh, on little curl routes and be able to get us some extra yards in those tight games. And I think he'll be a solid X factor for us going forward. Jacob Parisi, our anchor of the defense, 75 overall, 83 speed on him. He's going to be able to get to the outside, get over into the open area against wide receivers, be able to stop those curl routes, be able to stop those slant routes. And I believe he's going to be somebody that we look back to in these two years that he's going to be able to play for us and say that he was the anchor that we needed in the two years starting and he's going to be a leader his senior year i'm excited to watch him grow up he's local talent from vernon texas attended ut tyler and now he's actually going to be able to get his chance to play some football hit a few players and get some leadership experience going forward quentin king going to be our only 70 plus overall cornerback he's a junior he's got two years on the roster he's going to build up to be a leader the only person with 90 speed in our secondary and i'm really excited to watch him blossom into a leader the next year or so he doesn't have a lot of catching potential he's probably gonna be more of a swatter and a hard hitter but i believe that he's gonna grow up and be some really solid local talent that we have straight out of lufkin texas i'm excited to watch him grow at 6'2 he's gonna be able to go up and hopefully get the ball and i'm excited to watch him play on this defense for two more years the final X factor on this team that we're going to be looking at is our kicker, of course, Larry Yingling, number 22. He's a big Joey Logano fan, grew up in White Settlement, Texas. He is the person that we are probably going to go to most in these games, especially early on whenever we're looking for these three points here, three points there, and then maybe we'll score a touchdown one day and he'll give us that extra point. But I'm really excited to watch him come out and even do whatever this is to the defense. But I'm excited, and either way, he's always going to be a legend here at the UT Tyler Patriots because he's got two years of dominance for the team because he's probably going to score at least 80% of the points.